Hello everybody, welcome back. So it's been a while since I've been out filming. I've been doing a lot of editing from the trip out west. So uh, without any ado, uh, today we are going to go and check out this really cool mausoleum. I really have not checked out uh, any graveyards or cemeteries or any uh, really just kind of historic locations in a little while. Uh, obviously I did the hotel but I haven't done um, anything like this in a bit. And so today I wanted to stop by this graveyard and I might actually be making it part of a series because uh, I was hoping to find uh, a few different mausoleums here and it looks like it's just one small one, but it looks really amazing. So I'm kind of happy that I came at any rate, but um, it's looking like it might end up taking too long to get to another location today to uh, film anything else. So that's just the way it goes sometimes and uh, we are going to be making several different trips here over the next few days and then uh, we're going to be heading out here after the beginning of the year on another really really big road trip that unfortunately I had to delay a little bit. So here we are. This thing looks incredible. It looks like there's still people leaving flowers. I'm not sure of the dates on it. I'm not seeing any on the outside, but it does look like we'll be able to get a really good view of the inside. Well, look at the construction on this thing. It has an amazing roof with, uh, it looks like clay tiles. A little bit different, but it looks like it actually might have been partially rebuilt. You can see lots and lots of cracks, but you can see uh, older flowers there at the bottom on the floor. I don't think it's going to be unlocked. It doesn't even look like, yeah, it looks like a door that would just swing open. They're really, really neat. Amazing construction. I'm not sure what would have been here originally. It looks like it might have been just a older style gate. As you can see here at the bottom, it appears to be a matching uh, hinge. So I'm assuming there would have been originally just a very uh, thin barred gate here instead of this door. And then the, probably the door was added later on or maybe have been in addition to the door and been added protection but unfortunately rusted away over the years and you can actually see there was a door well it's still there obviously but the glass is all gone but there's a glass door behind which may have been some sort of uh, decorative glass you really can't tell now it kind of looks just like regular pane glass but I'm not sure what would have been in the center I am seeing a line of blue up at the top here. Let's go ahead and take a quick walk around the top of this. Still not spotting any more mausoleums around here though. Oh wow, look at that. It's a massive either bee's nest or hornet's nest. That's incredible. Wow, you can actually get a pretty good view straight through this vent. And even see some more names on the sidewalls. All right, let's keep heading around here. Don't see any vents here in the back. There might be another one on the side here.
So I've passed by this earlier. I'm not quite sure exactly what it is. It looks like a mausoleum, but it seems to be built a little bit differently. I'm not sure if it's just maybe a single casket in ground crypt, but it has this statue of a dog next to it. So this is actually a person's grave here. You can see that it says they were born a slave in Tennessee and then died free here in Indiana. Their name was Dan Webster. I'm not sure the significance of the dog in this situation. Maybe it was a representation of their own pet. There's definitely some sort of engraving here that's been damaged over the years. You can see it used to, at one time, span all the way around. And you can see the cracks on the edges here where whatever the uh, sculpture was is broken off. And as we approach this mausoleum, as I say it kind of loosely, it's kind of just a in ground crypt here with what appears to be a room enough for a, I would guess from seeing this, two caskets has two names there. Not many details about who's actually buried or how old they were or when they were born. Um, let's go up on the hill here. This may have actually been open at one time and possibly even uh, due to like erosion may have been uh, a doorway and possibly due to the soil uh, moving over the years because of the rains and possibly floods it may have made this look a lot shorter than it is because the hill actually spans quite a ways and I know it doesn't show very well on camera here but this is about a good 30 or 40 feet back here that I can tell that underneath the ground is some sort of crypt and it actually appears to be fairly large on the inside and to have just been sealed off at one time and so it would be really incredible to be able to get down in here and see what's below because just gauging by the size of this hill right here I would say it's about four to five times as deep as a lot of the uh, mausoleums that I filmed uh, when I filmed the series that I called Mausoleum Row. So I would probably guess there's at least six to ten people buried inside. Um, this is really incredible and I, I know there's more to this than what I'm actually looking at here. I'm trying to go around and see if any of these headstones along the sides of it are matching the last names. And so far I'm not seeing any whatsoever. But kind of the way it's cracked here, if you can see, uh, there's this rock here, I mean, is curved inward. And it kind of looks like it's sort of the same here, but just a better job of doing it. And you can see some little, uh, uh, nails here too, but that's what makes me think that it possibly this was actually an entrance and they just curved the bricks on the inside to fit perfectly so that it appears to be just one big solid structure, but in reality what used to be there was an entryway to go in and, and visit. One more thing before we take off here, I wanted to check these. These are definitely, I would guess, Civil War graves from the dates being born in 1934. They probably would have fought during the Civil War. But again, these here have these updated and very nice looking US markers. It doesn't even say veteran on these. But as I've said before, there's such a wide variety of them. Soldiers. That's 
actually this entire section as you can see is all veterans this really cool looking plaque here from the American Legion I was about ready to take off but I wanted to uh, capture this really quick before I did thank you everybody for watching and uh, make sure to check out again the links in the description below to all of my friends channels thank you all so much don't forget to hit that subscribe button once again if you have not hit it and make sure to hit that notification bell so you get all of the updates and i will see you all in the next adventure bye everybody